I will tell you something about standard ISO IEC 15408, uh, which is uh, known as a common criteria and serves for uh, evaluation of IT security. And uh, first of all, these are the sources and references that I use for the, today's presentation. Uh, common criteria itself uh, is particular version from 2017 and then common criteria certification in the UK and two other courses from associate professor Peter Hanacek and uh, professor Vasek Matias. So scope of the common criteria is actually related to the security of product design and development, not the operation and management. And it deals with the assessment of the IT security. So this is the characterization of the common criteria in, in one sentence. Uh, in contrast, there exist other standards uh, like guidelines for the management of IT security or code practice of information security management or information security management, which deal with the operational security and management during the, the operation of the product. Uh, so originally, structure of uh, common criteria consists of uh, four parts. Uh, the first part uh, deals with introduction and model, where a description of approach is made, terms and model are defined, requirements on protection profiles and security goals are specified. In the second part, uh, security requirements and functionality are uh, described, where various classes and functions uh, classes of functions and families of functions uh, are defined. Uh, then function, functions are used for for the components, which are groups of functions, and then detailed requirements are specified. In part three, uh, requirements on security assurance uh, is is described, uh, where there exist various classes of assurance. Uh, there are seven classes. We will talk about them. And you probably already know know these classes. And uh, uh, they are described in detail in this part. And part four just deals with the registry of uh, protection profile, which is uh, more the most applied stuff, and where particular use cases are are given, and uh, for particular families of. Uh, of families of uh, evaluated products, which can be uh, generalized. Okay, so the model of common criteria contains several uh, terms, and the most important terms are target of evaluation, which is the evaluated system. Originally, it was also referred to as a assess product or AP. Uh, we see that in the picture, the target evaluation is uh, delimited by the dotted line. Then TSF is, are the security functions of uh, TOI, uh, and they involve hardware, software, and firmware used by the TOI. Uh, however, uh, TOI. However, TOI itself contains also other other uh, things which belongs to its scope, and these things are referred to as TSC, which is a scope of control, and involve interactions under under security poli policy of TOI, which means uh, that it involves some subjects and objects, where objects are just passive entities that contain or receive information, while subjects are active entities that perform operations on objects. However, there might be also some resources which are uh, not under security policy or policy of TOI which might be some external external resources, probably some cloud services and so on. And then there are users which interact with the toy. Uh, uh, regarding part one, uh, oh, sorry, uh, here should be a picture. Anyway, uh, so part one co contains protection profiles, which can be specified as an implementation independent group of uh, security requirements for a particular from a particular group of assessed products or target of evaluation so this is some kind of generalized uh, definition or the generalization of uh, security requirements of these product categories uh, then 
security goes contain two types of uh, uh, two types of targets like a category and a particular type of product and each of them has its uh, own uh, its own parts like uh, uh, the environments and and particular goals of the security functions and some parts are common for both of them while uh, some parts are used or or are associated just with one particular uh, particular uh, type of a product. Uh, so next we have classes of functional requirements, which are denoted by the first letter of F, and uh, they consist of several components. For example, security audit has 35 components, and there are other classes related to communications, cryptographic support, user data protection, identification and authentication, security management, privacy, security functionality, resource utilization, login, trusted paths and channels. All these are related just for design and development. Right, and uh, then we have uh, various terms which, which occur in, in common criteria, like a class is a group of families that are equally focused, like a user data protection is an example, while family is a collection of components that have the same security goal, but may differ in, in strength or severity, like a DP, ACC, uh, which is access control policy uh, of this uh, class, FDP. And then we have, uh, below we have components, uh, which for example, our access control to particular subsets, uh, which is the smallest set of operational set of elements that can be used in particular type of uh, product or category of product. Uh, then in part three, as I mentioned, uh, common criteria deal with the assurance, and if we compare it with the dictionary definition by Oxford Dictionary, uh, the assurance is a positive declaration that a thing is true, or promise, or guarantee, or certainty. However, according to definition from common criteria, it is uh, grounds for confidence that an IT product or system meets its security objectives. So assurance protects from poor design, implementation errors, and ineffective measures or mechanisms. Uh, common criteria defi define various uh, classes of assurance, which are always denoted by starting letter A, like ACM relates to configuration management, uh, uh, which is automation of configuration management, acceptance procedure, then deployment and operation, uh, documentation lifecycle, uh, and vulnerability analysis, uh, development and testing. So I will not uh, go into the details here. Uh, just uh, I would like to go more into details of these assurance classes. Oh, are different assurance levels, uh, starting by EL1 to EL7, and uh, they they differ in the level of uh, how how was uh, product designed and and developed and tested. So for EL1 content just functionally tested product, where analysis is supported by independent testing of a sample of the security functions was made. It's applicable where confidence in correct operation is required, but the security threat assessment is uh, low. So it's suitable for legacy system. Uh, Daniel 3 structurally tested. It contains independent uh, testing of the security functions uh, black book testing and development search for abuse of vulnerabilities and it's uh, applicable where low moderate low to moderate level of uh, independently assured security is required then we have ELA3 which are methodologically tested um, and checked products so it contains analysis of supported Gray box, gray box testing and uh, 
and development environment that controls development environment controls and so on. Then we have ELA4, which is methodology design tested and reviewed, and it is suitable for an environment with moderate to high level of security. And ELA5, which is semi formally designed and tested. Uh, so analysis must include all the implementation and it should be supplemented by formal model and possibly semi formal presentation of the functional specification. Uh, so it's more re rigorous development approach. In ELA6, it's uh, semi formally verified and designed, and uh, uh, content analysis of supported uh, content analysis that is supported by modular approach to design and is required for a very high risk situation. And then we have VLS7, which is formally verified and designed, is the highest thing that, that can be achieved. And uh, on the right side of the picture, we see that uh, it corresponds to, to other standard TCSEC, which is also using this area and uh, the highest assurance level that can be achieved is uh, denoted as A1, while the lowest is denoted as C1, so this is the correspondence of the classes. Uh, and the higher ELS involve for more detailed documentation, analysis and testing than the lower ones, and of course costs uh, more money and takes more time to achieve than the lower ones. Uh, so the first one uh, can be achieved with, with the lowest level or for evaluation. And the second one with, that is best that can be achieved with additional developer work, ELA3 uh, allows developer to get a secure design without serious changes in development practices. ELA4 is the best that can be achieved without major changes in development procedure. I, I think that uh, Linux uh, belongs into L4, which contains some some kind of testing. And uh, then L4 was the best that can be achieved through planned and high quality development without extremely high cost. And L6 and 7 are, are more expensive and typically L6 is used for the military purposes and L7 is uh, the highest achievable security and the limits of the current technologies. And uh, if we look on on the time chart of uh, certification of the assurance levels per year, we will see that uh, it, start, it starts more after 2014 and uh, um, most of the products belong to to ELA4 or ELA5, while ELL7 is really rare. Uh, the similar view, but per country, is depicted on the current picture, where we see that the most certification is performed by by the Germany and and the France. I think that something went wrong with the export of my slide because uh, some slides are missing. Anyway, uh, I will go into what I have. So uh, for, for the evaluation of uh, a particular uh, system, it is necessary to make some preparation. And during the preparation, the product must be defined and, and uh, its functionality must be properly specified. Also, the assurance level uh, must be specified, which, which should be climbed during this evaluation. And uh, details of the evaluation should, should, be, should be reviewed and, and prepared with the certification body, which is performing the evaluation. And uh, finally, the evidence of the, uh, of the functionality or security goals that are expected to achieve should be um, prepared. Uh, then evaluation itself contains uh, 10 steps. The first step, uh, uh, the analysis and checking of processes and procedures is made. In the second step, uh, 
and do you have a way to just check whether the processes and procedures are applied and whether they are applied correctly in the third step analysis of the correspondence between evaluated system and and design representation exist fourth step uh, contains analysis of the toy design and representation against against the requirements that were made on the system in the fifth step uh, the verification of uh, proofs provided by uh, by the owner of the toy is made in the sixth step uh, is analyzed documentation seventh step contains analysis of functional tests which are were developed, developed by by the owner of toy and uh, the results results as well uh, Eight step contain independent functional testing by the evaluator. Mm. So it requires more effort. And nine step content analysis of the vulnerabilities on the theoretical level. And 10 step contains uh, analysis of the vulnerabilities on a practical level by uh, penetration, uh, penetration testing. So the, there exist uh, various models used during design and develop, development uh, under common criteria, and I name a few of them here. Uh, and uh, there exists a relation from each of these models uh, to the higher one. Uh, the lowest one is a security policy model, which describes the components of security policy that are uh, secured by security features. Second one contains functional specification uh, describing the security function and external interfaces of the toy. Then is architecture model, which is a high-level design description of sequence of actions that are performed in each subsystem on the base of stimulus and at its interface. And there is a more detailed level, a uh, more detailed model, which is on a low-level design, which is description of implementation uh, of the sequences of actions. And uh, this must contain all identifiable components like functions and procedures. And on the highest level, there is an implementation. So, oh, that's strange. Give me a second. I, I just need this picture. I don't know why it was not exported. Sure thing. Because this, I just cannot skip. So this is the picture which I would like to show you. Hopefully. Well, that's not what I want. Anyway, I will just show you here. Hopefully it's you can readable. see it. So, so uh, the correspondence between particular model is verified during the design and development. Like there is a verified correspondence between the security policy model and the functional specification. Then between functional specification and high level design. Then high level design and low level design. And finally, there is a match or verification of the match between the implementation and the low level design. Uh, so this actually the procedure this, this, that should be that should be taken during during the design development of the of the product according to CC uh, to to obtain some some kind of uh, certification level assurance. Uh, and uh, oh, that's strange. Okay, let me try this one. And there is also another document, which is called Common Evaluation Methodology. Uh, and this document is supplementary to the common criteria, and it describes the evaluation activities on a very uh, general level. And uh, and it describes how evaluation should be performed per particular requirement or class of requirement. Uh, and the purpose of this document is to, to make their, the evaluation reproducible. 
uh, yeah, I was reading through this document, and uh, it is really general in contrast to, in contrast to common criteria itself, or or uh, particular parts of common criteria. So I didn't find it very useful. Uh, so for for this project, it's actually all for this presentation, which I have for today.